welcome to our uh, 2021 Student uh, Awards presentation program. My name is Paul Steranka, and I'm the Interim Dean of the College of Engineering and Sciences. It's always a pleasure for, uh, for us to recognize the work and achievements, contributions of our students across the uh, college at this annual event. It's something I always look forward to every year. We'll be having multiple uh, speakers during the course of the event making presentations for their programs. I uh, would ask that everyone uh, leave their uh, mic muted when they are not speaking, just so we don't pick up uh, feedback and uh, other interference. Before we uh, begin with the actual uh, presentations, uh, both our, uh, the uh, campus president and campus provost would like to say a few words of, of uh, greeting and uh, get us started. So first I would like to invite uh, President uh, Carolyn Long to go ahead and uh, unmute and uh, greet uh, the uh, assembly here. Well, thank you very much, Dean. Uh, I really appreciate having this opportunity to say hello to everybody. Uh, wonderful to see faces and names. Uh, I'm sorry we're not in person, but this is the way it is for this year and all of you all, faculty, staff, and students have done a great job. Students, uh, we're very proud of you. Uh, your accomplishments are great. You've made it through four years, in some cases five, and we really appreciate what you've done and how you've done it. Uh, I know you're going to go out into the world and make us all very, very proud and make us so happy to say that you are alumni in Golden Bears. So two weeks from now, uh, or really a week from Saturday, uh, we'll get to walk across the stage in person and get to give you that diploma. But congratulations for what you've done and how well you have done it. It would be remiss of me not to say something to the faculty quickly because these young people, no matter whether they are a winner today or just someone in your class, they couldn't have done it without your leadership and without your wonderful ability to teach. So I thank each of you. <laughs> and a special thank you to uh, Lisa Ferrara as she retires. I, it would be remiss of me not to thank her for these many years of service to tech but more importantly to the years of service to all of these wonderful, wonderful students and how you have affected their life in a positive manner. So thank you all for letting me say something. Thank you, President Long. And now I'd like to invite uh, Provost Neff to say a few words. Thank you, Dean Stranka. And thank you all for inviting me and including me also in this ceremony. I wish we could all be together in person, but um, at this point, I think we're all kind of erring on the side of being safe. I also want to congratulate all the award winners because of the hard work that you have put in, because, and against odds that other people would have said, no, I can't do this. I mean, you're part of the generation coming through now that has dealt with the COVID crisis now for several years, and yet you've managed to excel in spite of it. And I think that's great. That also shows that you're tenacious, that you don't give up easily, that you keep pursuing your dreams and your goals, regardless of what obstacles might come your way. And that's something that will do you in very good stead in the future. Believe me, there will be other obstacles that you will have to address or overcome. And so basically you've had some practice at a fairly early stage in your careers in doing so. And I also want to extend my well wishes to the faculty and my thanks to them for everything that they do to help you become who you can become in terms of your academic achievements. So thank you to the faculty and to Dean Steranka and Associate Dean Goodman um, for all the guidance that uh, they have provided you as students uh, over the past several years. So I wanna wish you well. Um, and again, as uh, President Long said, uh, commencement is just a few days away and then you go on the next stage of your journey. And we will certainly miss you, but we hope you will keep in touch with us and let us know what you're doing and where you are because once a golden bear, always a golden bear. So congratulations to all of you and thank you for including me in tonight's ceremony. Okay, thank you. 
Well, what we uh, going to what we're going to do is go down through uh, different awards from different programs, and we're going to uh, start with uh, biology. So, uh, Dr. Ferrara will get a chance to uh, make some presentations here. Okay, thank you. Um, our uh, first award is the Senior Academic Excellence Award, and in this mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. for this year. Um, we uh, would like to present, and if everybody could please mute, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'd like to present uh, this award, and Jalen can probably be considered our first biology superstar award winner. Uh, she has a GPA of 3.96 with a minor in chemistry. Um, and uh, she has done research for the last couple of years, isolating and identifying uh, novel uh, bacteria that show uh, antagonism against uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is a pathogen. And um, she presented her research at the Undergraduate Research Day at the Capitol this year and won an award for her research presentation. She won an honorable mention. Uh, she's volunteered for multiple semesters as a research uh, technician at the Piney Creek Water Monitoring Project. And uh, in addition to all of that, she is a River States Conference Scholar Athlete. Uh, and she's won that award for every semester. Uh, she's a cross country runner and uh, she, the team that has won the River States conference title this year and uh, she's also recently been accepted to the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine where she's currently a candidate for a scholarship and she did all of this while working as well so we want to um, thank uh, Jalen for being such a great student here at Tech. Okay uh, our next award is the Research Excellence Award, uh, and that goes to Haley Brooks. And um, she uh, came up with the idea of developing a human skin equivalent in vitro for her research project. And uh, she was selected twice to present at the Research Day at the Capitol, both in 2020 in person and in 2021. And her senior thesis was based on her research and she has developed a manuscript that will soon be submitted to publication. And that manuscript is titled Histological Characterization and Cytogenic Authentication of Adult Primary Human Epidermal Keratinocyte Cell Lines. Uh, she is also graduating with a minor in chemistry and has also volunteered for multiple semesters as a field research technician on Piney Creek Watershed uh, Project. So uh, thank you, uh, Haley, for your work. And the uh, last award uh, that our department is presenting is the Excellence in Service Award to Mallory Wables. And she has been active in the biology club uh, since she enrolled at Tech and has served both as vice president and currently president of the biology club. And some of the activities that she has coordinated would be fundraising, uh, preparing for two biology uh, club trips. And unfortunately, the 2020 trip was canceled, of course, due to COVID last year. But she has uh, also led them in numerous ser service activities. And like our other two awardees, has worked on the Piney Creek Water shed uh, monitoring pro uh, project and uh, she was doing data entry for the last couple of years. She's a dual degree student and is working towards her BS in biology and psychology. And she's not graduating this semester, will be returning in the fall. And uh, thank you, Mallory, for your work. Good evening. Uh, I will be presenting the Chemical Engineering Awards. Uh, we have four awards to give out. Our first award is the Outstanding Sophomore Award. That goes to Emily Henry Santa Maria. 
Emily transferred to WVU Tech in the fall and has shown great excellence in academic performance uh, for the last sem two semesters. Congratulations, Emily. Our next award goes to Kelly Mills, and that's the Outstanding Junior Award. Kelly will be adding to her achievements with a summer research position at Mississippi State University this year. Congratulations, Kelly. Our next award is the Outstanding Senior Award that goes to Nathan Castro. Nathan has received this award every year from when he was a sophomore to now as a senior. We are going to miss that group a lot, Nathan and his group, as they graduate in a few weeks. Uh, we just want to wish Nathan the very best in the next chapter of his, of his career. Congratulations, Nathan. Our last award goes to Elizabeth Mitchell, and that is, that is our AICHE Service Award. Uh, Elizabeth accept, accepted the president position for our AICHE student chapter when she was a junior and has provided excellent leadership for the chapter this last two years. Um, Elizabeth, continue to lead and excel as you embark on your next phase of your career. Congratulations to all the chemical engineering awardees. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Steve Lepley, Chair of uh, Civil Engineering. Uh, give out the uh, award starting with freshmen. We have uh, a three-way tie for freshmen uh, that all, all freebies have exactly a 4.0 GPA, perfect average. Uh, Guillermo Yushich uh, uh, is our first award recipient. The second one is Andrew Kenneth Stanley. And our third one is Ethan Stock. All have 4.0 averages. We have a similar thing in the sophomores. Carmen Camino Falcon. Uh, she's got a perfect 4.0. And Shane Matthew Griffin. Uh, Camino um, is also an athlete, which I think is uh, in order to maintain that kind of GPA and, and uh, keep up those kind of grades is quite significant. For our junior award, we have Catherine Ray Dodd. Uh, she's won this to be the third time she's won it as a freshman, sophomore, and also as a junior. And then our senior awards is uh, Britt Litton. And Litton, uh, Britt is also uh, president of Tall Beta Pi. And uh, excellent, all, all these are excellent students. So congratulations to all the awardees uh, for uh, civil engineering. Good afternoon. My name is Ranjit Munasinghe, and I'm recognizing students from Computer Science Department and Informa Computer Science Degree and Information Systems Degree programs. Uh, the first student I'm going to recognize is Logan Bland, and he's a junior, and he has 4.0 average GPA at this point. And uh, this is not the first time Logan was recognized at this uh, in this forum. And uh, currently he's uh, working for TC Energy. Actually, he started with an internship and I think he is a contract contracted employee at this point. And I recently talked to his employer and he said, I want to hire him right now. Even he, he, he said he doesn't care whether he has a degree or not. So, um, and uh, he, he's one of those students who would make us proud. The second student I'm gonna rec recognize today, he's also a computer science junior. And uh, one of the things he did this year is he participated in ICPC, that is a programming competition, in, an international programming competition. And we participate in the Mid-Atlantic uh, 
section of that competition and he went there with another student and he broke all the records WV Tech students have said before. And uh, by doing that, he, uh, his team came, uh, became uh, first 25% of the students. I mean, they, their team solved four problems and only about 25% of the students, uh, student team solved uh, four problems. Now I have to tell you more about this competition to understand how big an achievement this is. Well, we, are, we competed with schools like Duke University, uh, uh, Virginia Tech, and uh, their teams have graduate students. And uh, they put so much, so, so much resources into this competition. They, tr they train their teams like they train the football teams. They, they bring a busload of students. Mm -hmm. Out of 300 teams, our team became in the first 25% by solving four, uh, four uh, Nick's team uh, became in the first 25 percent, and actually they did by uh, setting, uh, the, breaking their own record. And Nick's team, uh, his uh, one of his team members, we are going to recognize later again in this in this in this program. Uh, they, uh, they they break they broke their own record uh, this year. And Nick, is, uh, Nick has, uh, I want to say that he has also uh, nearly 3.0 GPA. And the next student actually is a senior and he's presenting his senior project tomorrow. And he's one of those students, very few students, I think, uh, 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 who is set to graduate with 4.0 GPA from computer science program. I've been in this department for about 10 years now and uh, only three or four students graduated from this program with 4.0 GPA. And uh, uh, his project, the project he's presenting tomorrow is an actual project, which is gonna be used by uh, his, uh, the application is gonna be used by an emergency roadside repair company after they are done with it. So congratulations, Dominic, for your uh, good work. And Thomas Wright is also a senior, and the, he's also presenting his uh, senior thesis tomorrow, senior project tomorrow. And their project, they are developing some software for the department. And starting from next year, we will be using their software to teach computer science one and computer science two. So they're developing an IDE for the freshman level classes. And he is, uh, I think he has only one B in his transcript. That is why he's, uh, his GPA is not 4.0. And he has been very active and he has been in this, he has, uh, he was awarded every year. This is the fourth time he is being recognized in this forum. And also, Thomas was a work study, he's our superstar work study student, and they help us with um, uh, our computer science labs. And thank you, Thomas. Okay, next mm -hmm. students we are going to recognize are information system students. And Peter Blessant is a junior, and he has a very high GPA, and I, I, I haven't uh, taught an information systems course for a long time, so I have never had him in, in my classes. And all all the other instruct, oh, including, I mean, all the other all the instructors in the department, I select these uh, awards based on instructors' recommendations. All the instructors recommended him, and uh, it is my loss, I guess. I didn't have. Uh, looking at his, his records and the recommendations of his instructors, I think it is my loss, which uh, I think is going to be corrected next year. Uh, he's going to be in my senior project class next year, so I'll have a chance to know more about him next year. Uh, congratulations, Peter. And the next uh, awardee is Elizabeth Lau, and she's a freshman. 
And as a tradition, Computer Science and Information Systems Department does not recognize freshman students. But she, we had to break that tradition for her because she made her case by taking, by um, earning 4.0 grade point average and participating in research, uh, in a research project with uh, Dr. Rai. And uh, she, she made a case that we have to break that tradition and recognize a freshman this year. So congratulations, Elizabeth. Next student we are recognizing, recognizing is Julian Nicholas, and he's another student I never had the fortune to have in my, in my classes. And uh, he's currently working for WV Tech IT department for uh, his professional experience class. And I talked to uh, his supervisor recently, and he, uh, he was going on and on about uh, Julian's work. And uh, he since uh, all uh, the instructors, all the faculty members are very impressed with his work. And he's also, I believe, in his transcript, there is only one B. And he's also nearly 4.0 student. Uh, congratulations, Julian. Last and not the least, we are recognizing Jacob Telep. And Jacob Telep was the uh, first time he came to WVU Tech when we were in Montgomery. I, I, I believe it is about, uh, I don't remember exactly, maybe 2011, and, but he had to take a break from school uh, due to uh, personal reasons. And last year he came back and, uh, and he came back here with a little bit more experience. And he, this time he showed what he's really made of. And uh, he, he's also, he's graduating this year, he's a senior. And uh, I believe that he has several job offers at this, at this time. And uh, other seniors have job offers too, but he's, he's one of those who has more than one job offer. If I'm not mistaken, he has either uh, two or three job offers at this point. And um, I'm really glad, Jacob, you came here, and con congratulations to you. Hello, my name is Steve Goodman. I'm the chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I'd like to present the awards to our outstanding students in electrical and computer engineering. Now, these names, these awardees, have been nominated by the department. So even though I might speak of them from my own personal knowledge and experience, remember that uh, it is the entire department that has had a say in who is to be recognized tonight. So our first awardee is Aaron Craig, and that's an outstanding junior in electrical engineering. I've been impressed with Aaron. Every time he comes into lab, he just seems to know what he's doing. He gets in there, he gets the job done, he does it right. He really has an intuitive understanding for all of the things that we're doing in our electrical engineering labs. Um, he's just an outstanding uh, junior. I'm very glad to have him in my class. Uh, next, outstanding senior in electrical engineering is Yannick Petri. Um, Yannick is going to be graduating this semester. Uh, he has been an outstanding player on our tech uh, baseball team. And um, he should have also received an award for an outstanding student athlete. but. Uh, he has done very well. I was very impressed when I first met Yannick. He seemed to be so knowledgeable and familiar with all of these things in electrical engineering. Uh, I thought um, surely it had already had a, a degree in electrical engineering, but uh, I was very glad to have him and he's uh, made a, a good contribution to our program. Uh, next is an outstanding junior in computer engineering, Dustin Adkins. Um, Dustin is one of these uh, very quiet students who always sits in the back, but every time I ask the class, do you understand what I've said, he's there with a thumbs up. So he's there, very alert, very attentive, uh, understanding, following the flow as we move along in lectures. Uh, he's also, I think, a very good teacher. I've heard him uh, explain 
various difficult concepts to some of his lab partners in the past, and uh, I've been very impressed uh, with him. Uh, he's also one of the very, very few students in my fairly long teaching career that ever made a 100 on a final exam line. So congratulations, Dustin. And last, we have an outstanding senior in computer engineering, is Ryan McLaughlin. Um, I've uh, enjoyed Ryan's enthusiasm. He's been an outstanding president of our student chapter of the IEEE. Um, I'm very glad to have uh, had him as a student. He uh, showed his enthusiasm recently when he announced to me that he had an internship this summer with Emerson. Um, and so I've been uh, very pleased to have him as a student and I'd like to congratulate all of our awardees in electrical and computer engineering. Well, uh, I get the opportunity not only to greet you at the beginning, but also as the acting chair of engineering technology to uh, present some uh, student awards for the folks in those programs. Turns out we have three programs uh, where we have some students we'd like to recognize. I polled the uh, faculty in the department and found uh, that uh, all three have uh, been very conscientious in their studies, have been very good to work with from the faculty perspective, and uh, also very helpful to their fellow students. A really exemplary uh, performance for all of them. The first individual is the only uh, one of the three that I've had the privilege of having in class. I've had uh, Joe Wilson in several courses and he did indeed perform very well. Always very prepared uh, and uh, willing to participate uh, interactions with his fellow students and with me always very, uh, very good. So nothing more I could say uh, positive about uh, Joe there. Uh, in the electronic engineering uh, technology uh, area, we have uh, David Blankenship, who actually started off uh, attempting to uh, get a degree in uh, Steve Goodman's area there, but transitioned over to electronic engineering technology and has flourished there. He's done a lot of good work with uh, Dr. Windeno and uh, is. Uh, it's definitely uh, a credit to the uh, program there. And then finally, uh, Daniel Richards uh, has worked uh, in uh, mechanical engineering technology and uh, Dr. Fu uh, recommended him and once again uh, said that he has uh, uh, done not only good work himself, but has been very helpful to his fellow students and a good person to work with. So it's a pleasure to recognize all three of these individuals for their work in engineering technology programs. Good evening, I'm Deborah Chen representing the mathematics department. I'm very happy to present these awards to our math majors. These awards are determined by unanimous decision of the mathematics faculty based on academic performance. Our first award goes to a student who has made the ambitious decision to double major at an engineering college, but he's definitely swimming, not sinking. And we're very pleased to present the award for outstanding math sophomore to Christopher Grassi. Our second award goes to a student who came over to mathematics from another major once he figured out that mathematics was the best subject. He is carrying a 4.0 in his WVU Tech math classes, and I'm so pleased to present the award for Outstanding Math Junior to Daniel, Daniel McCauley. So congratulations. Our third award goes to a student who has proven to be exceptional throughout her career here. She carries a 4.0 GPA, and this award completes her set of four awards. I'm so pleased to present the award for outstanding math senior to Isabel Barrio. And let me tell you a little bit more about Isabel Barrio. Isabel Barrio Sanchez, I'm sorry. Um, this student has balanced her interest in and excellence at mathematics 
with her interest in athletics throughout her career here. She completes her degree this semester and has numerous acceptances with paid assistance to PhD programs in mathematics, including the alma maters of three of her faculty members, myself, Dr. Tyler Moss, and Dr. Fred Cavalier. So we're very proud of her. Along with her set of four annual awards, I'm so pleased to present this last award to our outstanding math major, Isabel Barrio Sanchez. So congratulations. Hi, I'm Bernie Bedick. I'm chair of the mechanical engineering department. Um, as a department, uh, we discussed the awards and we came up with three of uh, uh, our students that are very deserving. Um, the first one is uh, Outstanding Contributions to the SAE Aero Team, um, our awardee. Uh, she has been a member of the SA SAE Aero Team for three years. Uh, she's attended three competitions. Um, she's this year she became the leader of the team and they will be competing in Lakeland, Florida. Um, not only that, she's also vice president of the Tau Beta Pi Engineering Honor Society. She's worked as a teaching assistant for the chemistry department. She's also a mentor to high school students in the STEM center. She's the captain of the WTEX volleyball team. They were runner ups in the 2019 River States Championships. And she has one of the highest GPAs in the department. Uh, congratulations to Anna Alonzo Olia. The next award is for, we had to make up this award because uh, of the varied contributions. Um, so this next award, um, Outstanding Contributions to the Department and University, I'm just going to list a few of them. Um, he's president of the WTEC Student Government Association. He's president of Pi Tau Sigma Mechanical Engineering Honor Society. He's president of the Fluid Power Club. He's also uh, on the university track and cross country team and they were the 2020 men's cross country River States Conference champions and he was athlete of the week in December. He also has one of the highest GPAs in the department and he was accepted at the University of Florida Gainesville with a graduate research assistantship. So congratulations to Michael Ecker Randolph. Um, the third award uh, is for Outstanding Academic Achievement. So this is for our highest achieving um, academically. Um, he's got a 4.0 GPA. This is the second time that this has happened in six years, so it's very rare, um, but definitely deserving of it. And um, so if, if, you, if you have him in your class, you will, wouldn't be surprised. Um, he's a pleasure to have as a student. And he's also put in a lot of work uh, into the fluid powered vehicle competition. So this award goes to Ashton McNicholas. Congratulations. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Hassan El Rifai, physical science department chair. Uh, just a little bit about physical sciences. I was like, people, what is that supposed to be? Uh, we, we offer a lot of courses uh, for the whole college, uh, physics, chemistry, geology, physical science, chemistry for nursing, and we also uh, offer the chemistry major and minor. So basically, uh, we're going to uh, offer these awards based on academic performance and uh, for uh, excellence in academic excellence in chemistry. Uh, the first one is a sophomore academic excellence award in chemistry, Brooklyn Laferty. And she is also a double major with biology, so chemistry and biology. And we're starting to see this trend increasing as we go. Um, congratulations, Brooklyn. Uh, the next one, also a sophomore academic excellence award in chemistry, that's Evelyn Patterson. And that's not the first time that she gets this award. Um, again, she is a double major, chemistry and biology. And some of our students also are part-time jobs. I mean, they're a handful, if not even athletes. So congratulations, Evelyn. The third one is Valentina Abondano. And uh, we're gonna 
awarded with the Senior Academic Excellence Award in Chemistry. Um, and Valentina also, that's not the first time she received this award. She is a volleyball athlete and she's a double major chemistry and psychology. And uh, the majority of those students went ahead into the medical field and health sciences. Congratulations, Valentina. Uh, the last one is Misa Amani. Uh, Misa is, is a very, very special student like the rest. But what's special about her, other than she's going to be receiving the Senior Academic Excellence Award in Chemistry, um, Misa had to take one year off due per, to personal reasons. And when she came back, she was full and active. And she's the first student to graduate with a double major, Chemistry and Biology. See, all of these have been going through the years, but she's the first one to graduate uh, with a high GPA. And on top of that, she was also working with Pace Analytica. She's working uh, in a chemistry analytical lab uh, that we have uh, next to the airport. And uh, she is um, going to be moving on also to the medical field. And uh, again, congratulations to all. Um, very proud of all of them. Go Golden Bears. Salt Beta Pi is the uh, um, only engineering honor society that represents the entire engineering profession. It's the second oldest uh, honor society. It was founded at Lehigh University in 1885. Um, its uh, character here is to mark in a fitting manner those who have conferred honor upon their alma mater by distinguished scholarship and exemplary character as students in engineering. And also, uh, about our attainments as alumni in the field of engineering and to foster spirit of liberal culture in engineering colleges. Presently, there are 250 U.S. colleges and university that have chapters. Um, there's only two chapters in West Virginia. It's us and WVU, the Tall Beta Pi. Um, it's in order to qualify uh, GPA-wise, you have to be in the top one-eighth of the junior class and the top one-fifth of the senior class. That's of all the engineering majors. You also have to be voted upon by the membership uh, to be of exemplary character. And last fall, we had eight uh, initiates that uh, came in uh, to Tall Beta Pi. Uh, this semester, we will, uh, if everything goes right, we will uh, initiate three members on Thursday. But the ones that were initiated uh, last semester, I'd like to recognize um, Justin Tyler Kirk, uh, Karen Yoshiki uh, Samarkun, Jorge Mario Hernandez, Benjamin Allen Stevenson, El Elijah William Buckland, Catherine Ray Dodd, Antonio Fernandez Castano, and Kelly Irwin Mills. And some of these names you've uh, uh, we've already mentioned. Uh, for example, Catherine Dodd is the highest uh, uh, GPA we have in the junior class. And also, I can give a special thanks to our president, Brett Litton, who was our senior uh, awardees today, because he was, uh, he's president at Tall Beta Pi. And last semester, he held the first uh, virtual initiation that we have ever done. Uh, and that was quite, I think, quite an accomplishment trying to uh, uh, pull that off. And we're going to do the same thing this, uh, this Thursday. So again, congratulations to all the initiates last uh, fall and also all the current members that are uh, members of Tall Beta Pi. Thank you. So that uh, concludes our uh, series of presentations. I'm always impressed to hear about all the accomplishments of all these uh, students, many of whom I've, I've never had occasion to, uh, to meet, but I'm always uh, impressed and uh, wish all of them the best uh, in their future, whether it's continuing studies or moving out into the real world to pursue uh, their careers. So thanks for everyone who attended and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening.